So, William and Charles, all may not be well from what it might seem. I think that makes sense. Hey guys, that's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click all that may well be not what it seems. Yeah, that does make sense. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and let's get into this um, mess. Another day, another fresh story when it comes to the royal family. A lot is happening. I have not spoken about the royal family this much in this abundance, you know, the last time I did was when Piers Morgan did his absolute rant on Meghan Markle and left like an absolute idiot. And we were all there when that happened. Continue to trash her. Okay, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Uh, uh, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash him, maybe not my No, 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 no. See you later. I'm, I'm being... Sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. So were you thinking of harming yourself? Were you having suicidal thoughts? Yes. This was very, very clear. But anyways, let's get into this where, you know, it's being stated all over apps and conversations that, you know, William and his team were briefing the press in regards to King Charles and for the fact that he was very weak. There were several articles coming out and that he was weak. His friends were speaking up for him. Royal courtiers were saying stuff that he's not good. Buckingham Palace were making it seem like it's much better than it actually is. And this was through via William and his camp. This wouldn't be surprising to me because we know his people came after Meghan Markle um, and Harry back in the day through, like we just know that, you know, Jason Nav as an example, Simon Case. So for King Charles, simultaneously within 24 hours of William briefing press and them commissioning all of that, within 24 hours, King Charles and Camilla post a picture together to state that he is absolutely fine He's responding well to cancer treatments and he'll be returning to royal engagement soon. He will be welcoming the Japanese Empress and Emperor. And you know, there's a picture of him and Camilla looking great. That's basically shade to me, shade to the team, shade to response to William's team to say, I'm good. I can post with my wife. Can you? That's basically what he was implying because for you to do that is a very harsh response to 24 hours in a form of defense. And that is what King Charles is doing. It looks like, you know, Charles and William are definitely, you know, having their issues. And if you've read Omid Scobie's book, you know that King Charles did not like the fact that William was doing climate change issues, peace in the, peace in the world issues, homeless issues. King Charles wanted most of that, you know, attention when it comes to charitable related situations. So that, They've always had their issues here and there when it comes to who should sign, shine more. And if you know anything about this monarchy, you will know that Charles will do anything in this life to hold onto that monarchy. He will do anything in this life to hold onto that monarchy because it's his time to be king. He will not lose grip until his last breath. And so, you know, it looks like there's issues going on behind the scenes because why would these reports come out? Why would the Daily Beast state this? Why are his friends coming forth and he looks very ill? And then he's stating, I'm absolutely fine. The, the press are normally on the side of Charles, especially recently. They're all on the side of Charles, he's the king and etc. You know, they've been coming from Meghan. So once that's been commissioned, that comes from somewhere, William's camp, and he comes out with that. So it just goes to show you that, you know, there's a lot of friction between these two and that all may not be what it seems. There we go. That makes more sense. Um, I feel like I said that at the beginning, all may be not what it seems. There we go. Um, much better. But we'll see what happens because, you know, the fact that somebody who does have cancer in his 70s can post with his wife in recent pictures but William can't do that with Kate. It speaks volumes guys and I don't know about you maybe you guys can agree or disagree on this but I feel like Kate, um, not Kate, Camilla and Charles actually seem like a couple that are into each other and have affection and love for each other than William and Kate especially in the last couple of years. I just feel like I'm just seeing it more, even in these pictures that they've just uploaded of Kate and, uh, not Kate, sorry, of Camilla and Charles together, there's more warmth in that, you know, that I've seen. So I think it was a very harsh, direct response. It went absolutely viral. It did what it needed to do. The UK press are documenting on the fact that he has spoken out by his camp, by the palace, and that of course, you know, there are gonna be warnings. Now, I feel like two things can be true. Let's break this down. Charles responds to William and his camp and the people to say that I'm good, I'm fine, and that you're not gonna get me off the throne so quickly, that's not how this is gonna work, number one. Number two, I also think that he's not as well as it seems. I feel like he's putting up the strong, you know, guard, strong image, but I don't think that's the case. I genuinely don't. But it looks like there are wars brewing behind the scenes because at the same time, Kate is not ready to be queen. William is not ready to be king either. 
And when Charles passes away, Camilla is under William's thumb. Camilla only does what William states because William becomes the new king by default. She doesn't become the main queen. So she has to listen to him and etc. etc. So we'll see how the power moves because whilst Camilla has gotten to where she's gotten and she's done well with what she's done, she is queen consent. She's not part of the royal bloodline. So when Charles dies, she effectively loses all of her power and she is under William's thumb and rule. So it's going to be very interesting when that takes place. More so interesting to me than when Elizabeth died and the monarchy moved. When Charles dies and the monarchy moves, it's going to be very interesting because I don't think Kate's fit enough in any capacity. William barely works anyways, so I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe. I haven't put many videos out. I probably won't today either. Feeling a little bit under the weather. Another viral infection. I feel like our bodies don't build resistance to viruses and it's just so annoying. Subscribe, comment down below. I just strongly dislike food poisoning, guys. Oh, it's so annoying. I feel like in this day and age, contamination is just so high. Like, I just feel like wherever we be eating, Contamination is high, guidelines, you know, hygiene, cleanliness. It's just not really there anymore in restaurants. I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I'm beginning to notice and feel. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.